Hi guys, Dr. Nana here. How are you guys doing? Back on the Mubad issue. November 7th has come and it's now passed. I was not looking forward to what Wumi will have to say. Indeed, for a young girl who could have those kind of mind to do all these things that they are talking about in social media. May we not marry our enemy. I think may our children not come across this kind of young girls and young boys alike. But in this case, may our children not come across this kind of young girl here is a picture of when, I don't know how old this girl was, she was. was already in the public with all these musicians, right? At that age, many girls will want to go to school. People fight to go to school. So the culture of our Nigerian system promoted so many of these kind of things where there's no true education policy, education leadership to align people, young boys and young girls alike to go to school. Where people are not educated, so many things go wrong in the system where people only depend on religion, so many things go wrong in the system. Mobat's case, my own view and analysis is that this is just a matter of someone staying around with the enemies. And this one also comes to the extent of family. He didn't have any strong family backing. The mother was never there, according to the song. Yes, the father was there, but it will be divided because there's other women in the house and other children and so many things and so many things like that. So after this court, uh, the corona thing that everybody has been waiting for, what Wumi said there, in my view, there's nothing there that she has spoken that's relating to her. She's pushing the blame to so many other people and call him Mubad, her husband. You call somebody your husband and you were not there where the injection was being given to him, the food he ate and everything. So I think this is just a big lesson, not only for the young people, but for the entire system. I hope there will be a light after this tunnel. And so, Part of my summation, so part of my summation for this Mubad case thus far is that everything still boils down to systemic failure. It's a systemic failure. Remember where there are no where there are no rules, right? No no laws to break. As a scholar, I know that if the system is working, if there are policies in place. If the system has something for everyone, their citizens who qualify like they have in the developed world, many people will not be hopeless, right? It's hopelessness that is making people to believe where solutions are not, that solutions are there. Here's what Mubad even talked about. So that means that we, most of us know this, but because there's no hope in the system, 
people continue to believe in things like this. Otherwise, somebody like a Wumigyo, who was able to have someone like Mubad, she would have hope. She would have changed her mindset to know that there's a future between her and this young man and not do all these things that the social media is now talking about. That's why in academic work, we cannot cite what is happening in the social media because there are so many theories out there, you know, so many conspiracy. But for the most part of it, this woman girl, in my view, was a poison to Mubat's life. You know, she has already made up her mind of the kind of woman she wants to be. That's why upbringing is very important. And for you men out there, please, it's important that when you are going into a marriage, please check the family background. It's very important. Like never before, because of this mobile kills, it's important to know the kind of woman you are getting married to. The family background is a tree. It's like a tree that brings up you know, the, 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 the leaves and then the branches. The family of this Wumi girl, in my view, she did not have a good upbringing. This is all she knew about how to use people, how to use men. That's all she knows about. And all these fetish things. How can you protect somebody who is already dead? Based on what she, they said, she talked about in the courts, like explaining why she put that white cloth. And I'm here, I'm hearing more things. I don't know how true that one is, that there was another pot by Mubat's head. Why is somebody be, believing this kind of things? So in essence, my summation is, when you see evil, don't condone it. When your wife or the girl that you tend to marry is a hookup girl, run far from that kind of person. There's no good thing that will come out of it. And you all, you need to look deep to these people that are preaching all of this. Since this mobile case came up, no one of them is speaking directly. Because they know social media is here to stay. Any word they speak, they will be quoted. I want to thank you all for listening. I hope we will learn from this Mubad case. And I also pray that there will be justice.